me ma! Oh, you know, well, I can't speak old enough for that camp. Along with my wife and family, we, we sing, dance, and practice our culture in, in everyday life. It was a big four days, but it seemed to go very quickly. You know, it was just a marvellous time. The importance of our culture being regarded as something that's alive, as a living and vibrant and dynamic culture, um, is very important and significant to me. It's your like to do it again. Out of Milbradale, what we did there, that was that was a part of a coming in the country. Things could have been a lot differently in the in the beginning if if people came into this country in the right way, um, instead of coming in holus bolus, you know, with with all guns blazing and stuff. We had invisible fences. So just imagine that. That's where our country finishes on the other side. We're into someone else's country now. Because if we were coming in the country, we'd be singing up country all over the place. We'd be saying hello to the to the black butt trees. We'd be saying hello to the eucalypts. We'd be saying hello to the wattles, and the spear grass and the Mitchell grass. We'd be singing it, and people would hear you coming. <laughs> Well, that's all right, let's go. It's, it's actually a non-invasive way of coming into somebody else's country, like knocking on somebody's door. You, you don't just walk into somebody's house, you know, just walk into there, open the door, and go straight to the fridge and, and help yourself and all that sort of stuff. You know, people get angry with that sort of stuff. And, and the same as when people come into the country, when you think about it, when you come into someone else's country, you're, you're actually doing it. You're coming into where someone lives. So we had a smoking ceremony at Milbradale in Circle. It's a very significant part of the Aboriginal culture. That's the cleansing of the land and of the spirit. Um, Milbradale is a very sacred place, so it's a great place to set intention, a very holy space. So we see our Mother Earth around us, but we also see her in, in each other. And it's impo important for us all to keep ourselves grounded, you know, keep ourselves on this Mother Earth. Because if we don't, if we don't look after it, we're going to be gone. From Milbradale we stopped at Battery Rock. There are stories, at, Dreamtime stories around Battery Rock. It's also a very sacred place and a place of great energy. Um, so from there, we then went to Wellington, to Burundong Dan, and settled in. And then the next morning um, was also a yarning circle, um, which became quite intense for people. If you look at 1967, it was the first time Aboriginal people were actually considered as being part of Australia. How many people were born before 1967 sitting at this fire? The yarn and circles, the yarn and circles were good. We touched on some really tricky subjects, you know, like stolen generation. We went through sadness and joy and, 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 and you know, some touching subjects that, that did stir the blood a little bit, you know, but the thing was we, we sat down in a, in a safe environment where people could actually feel comfortable. Yeah, people were very uh, open and honest and that was very powerful, that people were feeling comfortable enough and safe enough to be so honest and to share so deeply of their own personal stories. We had a bit of a debrief and, and a bit of a yarn about, about what went on and, and after, after, after that, you could feel, you could feel the, the, the energy of the, of the camp lift. 
and then in the afternoon on the second day we all split up into our various interests of crafts and painting and timber. You know, I was only a little boy when my, when my uncle first taught me how to select a branch to make a boomerang. Working with my hands and, and seeing other people learn and grow from doing that and what the best thing is to see someone smile at and enjoy what they've actually made. It helps the, the, the mind to unwind working with wood or, or even painting and that sort of stuff. It's all therapeutic in, in one way or another. I came around the corner where all the woodwork was going on and everybody was absolutely, totally engrossed in what they were doing and it was a hive of activity. And I just looked at it all and went, oh my goodness. Working with wood is, is something that's been a part of our culture for, for millennia. You know, that's, that's what the camp was about, was, you know, getting back to basics and, and learning together and growing together. On the second day in the evening, we had, um, we did corroboree and we learnt to dance and sing. Dances, the kids are now dancing and that, you know. It's such a marvellous part of still keeping that culture. We are the first Australians, but I think that it's very important. I can't stress enough how important it is that we have our culture. And we share it. On the third morning, we went back to our crafts um, and more yarning. And then in the afternoon, we went for a walk on country. That walk on country just sort of tied everything together. Gave people time to hear the bush and experience it. Uh, hear the birds and the, the water running and, and hear kids running around and laughing and playing. You know, all, all the natural sounds that come with being in the bush with that because it's important for, for people to connect to country and what better way than to get out in the bush and see that, feel that, hear it, smell it. And then that evening we had a cook up, it was very cold and it was lovely to have a really lovely warming meal. I want to know the best way to get to Maitland. Well, you're going by car? Yep. That's the best way. <laughs> and I think that night people didn't want to go home. I think there were some people who stayed up around the fire the entire night. For lots of years I've always wanted to come out here. My uh, friend uh, Tyrone turned me and uh, he rung me up and asked me if I'd uh, come out. He's never ever given a bloke a bad steer so I decided to come out. In the time that I've been down here, and it is truly unbelievable, I've done some things that I've never done before. Pete's going to do a farewell for us and send us on our way. And we stopped back at Battery Rock on the way home and then we had a closing circle at Milbrida where we began. It's about the word trust. 
we're all equal, we're here with, to share. And I know how important it is to have trust in your life because if you ain't got that, well, you're a lost soul. You have to believe, whether it's the trees, whether it's ground, whether it's rain, whether it's TV, whether it's a car, whether it's the Lord, whether it's the Creator, you have to believe because if you don't believe, what are you? <laughs> I think that there is people in the country today of both white and black, you know, that are going to make this country great. Events like that camp, they're just going to make the communities of all people so much stronger. <laughs> I just hope we can do it again.